Vauxhall Antara with the 2 litre diesel engine, the engine light's on, I've got a park neutral switch fault and glow plug on cylinder 2 and the DPF filter, the pressure sensor is not in range, that's the only fault that's in the EOBD and the one I'm looking at today. I moved the airbox out of the way so I can get to the sensor. This is the DPF pressure sensor, it's been unbolted from the bracket and the two hoses are disconnected. I'm going to start checking the voltages on this sensor using a multimeter. Just checking that I get a good connection on the battery first. Next I'm going to check the three wires and make sure that I've got what I would expect them to have. Power ground and a signal. The problem with this car is the signal never changed, so I'm going to see what's going on. 0 0.5 volts with the ignition on on the signal. That's about right. And I'll check the, the center one's going to be the ground. That's 0 volts. And the last one should be, should be the 5 volt supply. 4.9 volts. So it looks like I've got everything that should be there at the sensor. So I'll do some more checks and see what's going on. I'm on the larger of the two posts and still back probed at the sensor signal wire. I'm going to put in some pressure here, a little bit of pressure, and look for a change. On the voltmeter you'd also see a change in the live data. This makes the sensor look like it's working fine. Next I'm going to check for a leak. I'm going to put the smoke into this batch of the two hoses and check if there's a leak going to the DPF. There is smoke coming out of under the car and I can see here it's coming out where the hose goes into the DPF, right at the DPF itself. I've done the same check on both hoses, it's just the one that's leaking. You can see here where the hose is split at the DPF end of the hose. That explains why there was no pressure change when you rev the engine up. I managed to cut it and slide the hose on. I don't want to do any more work than I have to on this car at the moment. Looks like maybe it will need some work in the future though. The main thing is I've been able to clear the fault code and put the engine light out. And the sensor's working fine, you can see on the scan tool now. So I'm going to do a DPF regeneration just so that I know it's capable of doing that before the car goes away. I'll have to warm the engine up first before it can do the regeneration. The engine's going to rev up quite high whilst this is going on, but that's normal. It'll slow down when it's finished. I didn't expect the RPM to go quite this high, hopefully it won't break anything. The regen is still going but the engine speed has at least slowed down a bit. The regen has finished, there's no lights on the dash, no fault codes anymore. And that's all the customer brought the car in for. Thanks for watching.